Hi everyone, this is Troy with Troy's Cards, Cars, and Comics Tea. Um, just a probably not so quick video because I'm going to try to do a little bit of everything I got. I've got uh, some yeah, some mail, I've got a, uh, some die cast cars. I'm actually trying to open one even though it's not Friday. Um, let's see, so we got the mail, some cards we're going to open. Of course, we're going to open some 1993 Stadium Club packs. Um, and I have a comic to show that I got for Christmas uh, that my wife got for me. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, start off with um, some email or uh, email eBay cards that I got. Got this pack here. It says from the Morales family. Got that on eBay. Let's see what we got here. This is a pretty hefty uh, mailer, double mailer. Pretty tight, pretty strong. Oh, hit the camera. Sorry about that. Oh. Wow, it came in already. Okay. That's, man, that's pretty. Alrighty, and an SGC rated or graded 4, very good. Our VGEX for the 1970 top set, card number 350, Alberto Clemente. I don't know why my phone is not, there it goes. That card is sharp, I mean. I guess this corner down here looks a little rugged. Everything else looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than the Clemente I've got already. A little bit of staining right there. Looks like it got some, some water damage on the car actually. Hmm, that might be wax or gum even. One hundred percent better than the Clement they have right now from my nineteen seventy set. Great pick up there. That's a beautiful card. I don't want to go ahead and see. Next, we have another package from eBay. And I can't do this without of hitting the, the tripod, apparently. It says, thank you, please visit again. Some more 1970s. Sweet. All right, let's to be a couple of cards in this one. Got card number 636. Jim Stewart. Good looking card there.
and card number. See, I didn't get the number on that one. 643. Jose Pagan. Good pickups. One more here. All right, this is a, a buyback on this one. Wrap it in. It looks like he wrapped it, the the top loader in cellophane of some sort. Um, that's one. If you wrapped it in cellophane before you put the tape on it, that would be great. Because that way the tape wouldn't have affected or ruined the top loader. But I can't get to the card either. He did. Oh, sweet. All right. So this person went ahead and wrapped the, put the card in the top loader, but then wrapped the, the top loader in cellophane and then put the tape over the cellophane. So... Great, so the top loader is in great shape, and that is there we go 50th anniversary 7019 buyback. Card number 634. Little tweak on the corner there. That's a great looking card there, though. 636, 634, 643. And one more envelope from eBay. One more, 1970. Actually, two more in this one. No sleeve. You put these cards in a, a card saver. Rick. Rick or Rich. Rich. Rich Rollins. For the pilots, good looking card, nice corners, nice photo, no creases, card number 652, a little tweak there on the corner, and number 574, Bobby Bolin. For the pilots, same, same corner, a little bit of a pinch, but still a great looking card. Look at that, nice looking back. All righty, that'll do it for the uh, eBay pickups. Oh, great pickups, man! Golly. Um, 
I'll go ahead and do a recap after the fact and see how that's looking for my 1970 set because that should get me within like five cards. So let's go ahead and move on to the die cats, I suppose. Um, and I mentioned this back when I did my 500 subscriber giveaway. Again, thanks for the people who did enter. Thanks for the... Uh, for you guys for getting me to 500 subscribers. I'm actually, I uh, think, uh, coming to 519, 520 now. Uh, so, moving on along. Um, Chance, if you're watching, or if you do watch Chance with Collectibles, I still do need your address. And after um, I come back or get back to work after the holidays, I'll see about getting um, all my uh, winter prizes out. But I did mention back then about this car right here. This was... The Johnny Lightning Shooting Star with race damage that I picked up. And when I picked it up and opened it, I had mentioned about wondering if they had done a, um, a Mach 5. And I looked it up and sure enough, they had done a Mach 5 the year before. Well, right before Christmas, I got lucky and got it. So before we actually show it, I'm going to go through some of these Johnny Lightning Speed Racer cars that I have. Starting here, I've got the Speed Race from Speed Racer 2000. I don't have the 1997 um, release of the Snake Oiler car. This also comes with the Bonus film strip. Our animation cell. So that's if I'm I'm not sure if they did a 1997 snake oiler from the uh, earlier release. So I'm probably still gonna look for that. This is from the 2023 Johnny Lightning. And there's Snake Oil again. You can see the differences in the car. The purple on the top is a little different. The door purple is more of a purple versus that teal kind of color. The castings are very similar. And of course they have Snake Oil on the card on the new one versus Speed on the Speed Racer 2000 card. The only reason I didn't open the the 2022-23 uh, Snake Oil is because they didn't do it with race damage. It's just, you know, all brand new in, in, uh, in the clamshell. So I didn't open it. Here's the shooting star from the original 1997. I'm pretty sure it was 97. The original 1997 release of the Shooting Star. There's Speed and Race Racer X right there on the card. Shooting Star driven by Racer X, Speed's brother. And then to go with it, I have the Speed Racer 2000 Shooting Star. The card is the same with speed on the same speed ratio 2000. You can see the big, you know, the difference. The, the cars, uh, the body of the car and the, the rear quarter panel is a lot bigger. And the car itself is a lot, a lot wider. The 9 is a little bit different. And then, of course, the 2023 version with race damage sitting there. And then the ever popular Speed Racer Mach 5. Speed Racer's Lightning Fast Mach 5. This is from the 97 release. Then here's the Speed Racer 2000. With the open hood. 
Now the the weird thing is that under the open hood, you can see what looks like a power plant. Now, I'm pretty sure when they in the cartoon when they were where they worked on it, you know, the engine was in the front. But I've got a um, a diecast model, not diecast, um, a plastic model kit, and they show the uh, the engine actually in in the rear. There's Speed Racer 2000. Of course, all of these ended up with a animation cell. And you see the big difference. The door's a lot more cut in the 2000. The 5, but the Mach 5 is a lot bigger. And the car itself, the body looks a bit wider. And then to the car that we're actually going to open tonight. Johnny Lightning 2022-23 released to Speed Racer Mach 5 with race damage. Let's go ahead and take it out of there. Hood doesn't open on that one. It's got spots for the jacks amount in it. Rubber tires, metal top, metal bottom. Race damage on both sides. Oh. The jacks came out. Alrighty, here we go with the Speed Racer Mach 5 from Johnny Lightning. I wonder if it's got the holes in the bottom of the shooting star. No, it does not. Cool. Alrighty, and then on to our comic for today. Our comic for today is really interesting because it's a baseball comic. My wife got me this for Christmas. She said all she did was search in the net for Arizona Diamondbacks Rare. And this is what came up. Here's the back of it. It's, it's pretty bad as far as uh, spine ticks and whatnot, but right there. Arizona Diamondbacks, 2001 World Champions. And they won the World Series against two, uh, against the Yankees in 2001. Apparently, it's some kind of IHOP comic. Because it says, IHOP Restaurant Special Collector's Edition presents World Cha 2001 World Championship, or World Champions, Arizona Diamondbacks. Ultimate Sports Force. It says what player's choice right there? Number one, 2002. But that's uh, Randy Johnson. I think that one's Jay Bell. That's Gonzo. That's going to be Gracie. Uh, that one might be Kurt Schilling.
Yeah, I think. Let's see. This could be Tony Womack. So it's a limited edition Arizona Diamondbacks comic from the 2001 World Series, or as the 2001 World Series winners. Pretty sweet. So there you have it. Cards, cars, and comics. Let's go ahead and wrap it up with opening our customary two packs of 1993 Top Stadium Club Series 2. I'm down to, I think, 16, 14 or 16 cards to complete the Series 2. Still short four cards from Series 1. And if I could ever go ahead and sit down at a computer and really load up the uh, database, the um, trading card database, I could probably make a Make a bunch of trades because I've got extras for just about everything. But you have to have, you know, cards loaded on the trading card database to be able to trade. And I don't have my list with me, so I'll have to go ahead and revisit this one after the fact, too. We got Terry Pendleton. Number 338. There he is with the Braves. Eighty-five tops. Oh, Weiss. The Mariners. Or the Marlins. The Mariners. I'm sorry. With the Marlins. Eighty-eight tops traded rookie card. Got Vinny Santiago. Also with the Marlins. Haha, ha, Marlins got it right the first time. 319. 87 top straight rookie card. Keith Miller. The Royals. Four oh one eighty eight tops or ninety eighty eight yeah eighty eight tops Mike Williams with the Phillies number five thirty nine Oh, landscape rookie card. There he is with the Phillies there. 1993. He's a 1993 rookie. This also qualifies as a rookie card. Of course, it's not stamped. and They didn't do the stamping of the rookie cards and all that. Next is going to be another one that's a little sticky. There we go. Oh, Tony Gwynn. Nice, nice Tony Quinn guard with the Padres, 538. There he is, 83 tops, rookie. And then Nolan Ryan. Back-to-back -back Hall of Famers. And of course, 353. The Ryan Kuzman rookie, nineteen sixty-eight. Let's make it a three-peat on the Hall of Famers. The next card is again a little sticky. There we go. It's Larry Walker. Here he is with the Expos. Rookie card debut, 1989. 
Nice. In there, Walker, uh, a Hall of Famer, pretty sure he is. Jeremy, Jeremy Hernandez with the Padres. So I'm going to do two packs. I'm going to have to run through that second pack. 392 and 91 tops debut. Oh, Edgar Martinez, Mariners. Number 331, 90 tops. Eric Carros, or Carros, the Dodgers. 528, from Hackensack, New Jersey. 91 tops. Three card. All right, now it's three cards for this pack. I've got Steve Bichelle. I was looking at the cards early and I was I thought they were something actually inside the top loader. That white thing on his lip there. Now that I've got a second one, I can see that it's actually on the card. 494. 86 tops. Rookie card. And of course, I do have that one already. Esteban Beltre, the White Sox, three seventy five, ninety one tops debut rookie card. Last card for this pack, Randy Nor. Gear it up and ready to throw. And there he is with the Jays. Anyone tops debut rookie card. All right, second pack. We're just going to run through the fronts. Justin, if you're watching, sorry, I uh, wanted to go ahead and try to get them on the video. Oh, nice front card. First card in the uh, in the front of the pack is Smolty, member choice. That's five ninety nine. Yep, I just pulled this the other day in another pack. Got Monty Ferris, Marlins, another card that wants to hold on to the next card, there we go, Scooter Tucker, checklist number 590, just pulled this checklist. 501, Randy Johnson right there at the top. I got Jack Armstrong. Mark Lewis. Making the tag. There he is with the Indians. Sean Abner with the White Sox. Will Cordero, is he where is Montreal? Yeah, the Expos. Oh, Reggie Sanders! I know I need the Reggie Sanders card. I was looking at that the just a minute ago. Need the Reggie Sanders card. Sammy Sosa. Oh. 
Here's Will the Thrill Clark. Product of Louisiana. Graduate of, I think he graduated from Mississippi State. Um, and number one draft pick for the Giants in 1985. 1986 tops traded is, is, is a rookie card. Ken Caminiti. Rich Rowland. And last is Chris Napoltz. Alrighty, two packs of 1993 tops uh, stadium. Let's see how. Uh, let me go ahead and take a look. To see how those uh, add up. Plus, see how I'm looking at my 1970s. Be right back. Hi, this is Troy, and I'm back. Um, after looking at the cards we opened, I've got four of the 1993 Top Stadium Club that are going to go toward the uh, the set. That's going to be card number 403, Sean Abner. Oh, yeah, try to get it without the light. There we go. Three sixty one, Will Cordero. Like I said, one I was filming earlier, four seventy one. It's gonna be Reggie Sanders. And number three thirty seven, Marco Lewis. Also went ahead and picked up those nineteen seventy cards that I just got in. Um from what I can tell, as long as, uh, depending on the accuracy of my list, I'm looking at three cards. And of those three, I'm almost positive I've got two already on the way. One of them, apparently, I just missed. So as soon as I get those last three cards in or get the two in and get the last one ordered, I will have completed a 1970 Tops set. Um, a, 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 I'm sorry, a 1970 Tops set. Uh, so I can't wait for those cards to come in. I, um, I think one of them is going to be uh, the Willie Mays card, a graded Willie Mays card. I uh, finally went ahead and broke down and got it. And they, I think I'm waiting on a Frank Tepidino card. Um, I don't remember what the last one I just looked at the list and I don't remember what the last one is. But as soon as I get those three, that will complete the 1970 set. And I've already started getting... Uh, Purchasing lots, um, regardless of grade or not grade, but uh, regardless of condition, let's say, uh, for the 1969. So then I'll um, bridge the gap. I'll go ahead and then have a completed 1968, working on 1969, a completed 1970. And I think that's going to be it as far as uh, trying to do complete vintage sets. The 68, my birth year, the 70, my brother's birth year, and the 69, just because it fell in the middle. Um the only other vintage card I'd like to go ahead and try to work on would be a 1955 um, Brooklyn Dodger set. Now I've got, I think, uh, in 1996, Topps released a reprint of all the Dodgers cards, Bowman and Topps, from like 1951 to 1957 or 50, well, 57 the last year, 58. I think it was the first year that the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, and I did purchase that. And I actually, I was, um, I was in the hospital when I got it and went over that. So I might uh, revisit that set. But as far as vintage goes, that's going to be uh, other than working on the 1969. I'll try to pick up some uh, 55 Dodgers. The 55 Dodgers were the, it was the year that they beat the Yankees for their World Series, um, and I wouldn't mind having those. Uh, my Grail card, I know a lot of people do uh, grail card listings. My grail card is pretty much the 1954 or 55 um, Jackie Robinson card. Uh, those cards sell for a good bit of money. I wouldn't mind getting uh, an actual graded uh, Jackie Robinson card that year. Not too much on his the 48 Leaf rookie card or something like that. Um, but the, free, the 54, 55, of course... 
um, trying to come, you know, do that 55 Dodgers, Brooklyn Dodgers set, that would be nice. But uh, to get um, uh, Jackie Robinson 54, 55 in a in a good in good condition. Um, by good, I mean anywhere from one to four. Um, and even when it comes to great, even authentic is a nice card. Um, it's just as long as it's not marked up or anything like that. But yeah, anywhere from a one to four uh, would be great. Now I will probably start looking at that, but that's going to uh, be a large purchase or a, a big ticket item basically to go ahead and get something like that. So again, appreciate you guys watching. Um, can't wait. I've got two, four, six, six more packs, I believe, that I'll have completed. Not completed, but opened two hobby boxes of the, the 1993 Top Stadium Club Series 2. And then after that, um, I can go ahead and move on to that Series 3 box. So appreciate you guys watching. Please stay tuned for more videos. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, Happy New Year to everybody. Tschüss.